Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing some more of Renowned Explorers. And we still got a little bit of uh, world map stuff to do. What are we going to do with our campaign tokens? We're, we're, by the way, we're heading into the third expedition shortly here. But our campaign tokens, we have 222. I really want to get another specialist. So, how about um, I, a specialist level 2? They're too expensive, I can't afford them. So, specialist level 3... Uh, I want to get this plus one study token for aggressive since we're doing a lot of aggressive. I'm trying to pile up on the aggressive encounter bonus as much as possible. Uh, we have 72 left. Let's go ahead and get the last upgrade so we can see what's at level 4. Level 4 we have tactician, defense, offense, uh, quick thinker. We have also naturalist, classical physics, and biology. So if we want, basically we can get all, th well, we can't get quick thinker. Uh, the level we can't get a level two quick thinker, but we can get a level. Uh, we have a level two tactician already. We can get a level two naturalist. So either the top or the bottom one, we'll have to consider those in the next episode, uh, or after this expedition, I should say. Um, gold. We have 545 gold. We're not going to use the gold yet because we're going to be getting 700 or 800 gold defensive items. So we're going to wait on that one. So let's jump into the expedition now. Third expedition. We have choices here. We have the Memphis Desert, the Hungarian Fort, which was unlocked already, and the Highlands. So Memphis Desert would give us lots of gold. Requires an archaeologist, athlete, survivalist, or rogue. We have two, two of those four, and lots of gold sounds awesome. Unlocks insight jobs in Africa, which is pretty good. Uh, Hungarian Fort unlocks the entourage shop. It gives status, and I don't really care about status, so we're going to not go there. Highlands. Highlands, uh, a friendly approach... It could make things easier. Taking a beguiler, diplomat, athlete, or engineer will prove useful. Gives status and gold. But here's the kicker. Unlocks item shop in Sydney. And those items will actually be really good for our um, fighter crew. So we're, we definitely we basically have to go to the Highlands Pursuit. Uh, even though we're not a good friendly crew, we're going to do our best. This expedition will be harder than it looks. An abbey hidden on the Scottish island holds a secret many have heard of, but which none have confirmed. The abbess of this abbey has become paranoid due to all the explorers and thieves knocking on her door, looking for treasure. But that won't stop you. Ivan is determined to get the mysterious treasure held in the abbey, one way or the other. Time for the treasure. There's the abbey. Uh, empty node, empty node. Up at the empty node, there's a zero up there, which is nice. But we're going to go this way. The crew is walking through the hills at a relaxed pace when you hear an old and funny voice. Whoa. 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 What? Whoa. I am Judge Druid. Ju <laughs> oh, this game. I am Judge Druid. Face me so I can judge your worth. I feel like he's going to tell me... Uh, I am the law. What did, how did, what did that guy say? I can't remember what that guy said anymore. There's no way around this. He's engaging. Judge Druid. Uh, we're going definitely going to go be going aggressive because look at all those tokens. He's attacking us with sheep? Really? Let's start with... If we go friendly, it'll make aggressive more powerful. So let's start with a friendly... How about this? Or this. We get four of them over there. Let's hit all four of these guys. That's going to make our physical attack stronger. So we can now go with a physical attack like Ivan's um, smack him around move. That's what we call it here. Smack him around. I think either way it would have would have destroyed these sheep, but it's okay. I wish I had an AoE. That would have been a perfect time for an AoE physical attack. Um, can't get down here, surprisingly. Hmm. See if we can hit him with Impressed. There you go. Nice beard, sheep. Next. What you gonna do, Judge Druid? He's gone hostile, so we can go devious. Safely. Is that all you got? You and your sheep? Wow, I've never seen an aggressive sheep before. That was funny. And 
and incredibly adorable, actually. I hope they surround me so I can do the primal roar thing. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, devious abilities have increased uh, increased power. If I go here, I hit three of them. So yeah, guess where we're going. Um, also, I can get Victor. Probably get Victor to the side. Don't really need him in the middle of all that. Yeah, we're gonna move Victor out this way. Ivan will move in here. Gonna do primal roar. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, that's going to put us in devious. In one shot. Plus, that'll put get our, sorry, get our defensive abilities going. Uh, we're going to put John Piet in the middle of these guys and use his inspiring attack. Uh, yeah, why not? We can hit the boss for that much damage. I'll do it. That'll heal up everybody. And if Ivan can hit this attack... Oh, we want to be devious, don't we? Yeah, let's let's make sure we end up devious. Um, not devious. Uh, aggressive. Let's make sure we end up aggressive. Just in case. We'll play it safe. Now we're aggressive. We're going to get those extra tokens. No one headbutts Victor and gets away with it. Take that, sheep. Jump yet. Smack him in the face, please. Pretty please. Cherry on top. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. These guys are pretty good so far. Judge Druid thinks you're strong. You got a lot of a lot of nice things. Also got a bonus at the end here. The druid is impressed, uh, although he feels a little rough. Whoa ho ho, you are deemed strong. You deserve tribute for your work. That's the most sensible person you've ever knocked down. Five collect tokens, nice. After that, the druid quickly disappears into thin air. That was a curious figure. Yeah, that makes total sense. Cultural challenge, diplomat or archaeologist. We have a diplomat and we have a archaeologist. So hopefully one of those guys can make this happen. You find a local merchant who wants to trade indigenous trinkets with you. Making deals with influential locals can increase your status and be profitable for both. However, anger the merchant and you're left with nothing. Who will negotiate? Uh, I'm, this isn't worth even one of my two tools, so I'm going to go ahead and just risk angering him. Come on, Victor. Oh, no. No. I never... I, the, the merchants always hate me. Oh, no. In an attempt to get a better deal, Victor called the merchants wares useless trinkets. Needless to say, the deal is off. Bad, Victor. You're very bad. Witch challenge. Let's go for tech. That'll be tactician. Have a chance for a tactician thing. Sometimes recruit finds opportunities. Promote them shamelessly. We don't have a beguiler. We'll grab the one token here. Everyone was polite and modest. The locals took notice of you, earning you some status. They also noted that you were quite boring for adventurers. Aw, oh, thanks so much for that. Let's check out this, uh, I haven't seen this shop in a while, so let's check out this shop, see what they have to offer. Shop owner smiles at you when you enter your shop. I really wish I could see what these things do before I bought them, because I remember this. This one's like plus one movement, which is actually really good, but it's an offensive item, and there's only one of them, so it's not all that great. Uh, Highlander's Manifesto, I don't know what that does. Highlander's Insignia, would it presumably, I think that replaces our current Insignia, which isn't good. So... Uh, I'm going to buy this one just to know what it does, but I don't think it's that good. Plus three speech power. Yeah, that's pretty uh, halfway worthless. Leave the shop. Uh, good to know. Let's grab this. We have a lot of supplies left. Look at all these unused areas. Uh, probably all the good stuff is all around the outside, so let's, let's go towards the edge here. Hmm. Let's go here. Being an explorer is fun and all, but sometimes annoying locals think they can tag along. Oi, mister! We gotta explore too, we're really good. Oi, I lost my boot. They'll ruin your expedition. You, you're forced to do something, show your worth. Okay. I don't think I've seen this event before. This is, uh, that was pretty, pretty good. Alright, aggressive it is. Staying aggressive, boys. We're gonna start, we should probably start with friendly. So that's Victor's job. 
We'll start with friendly, and then that'll give us more power in our aggressive moves. Love that. Now, I wish I could get over there and do Primal Roar, but it's not going to happen. Uh, they are going to go friendly. We don't have a good friendly defense, so we're going to go. We're going to stay on this side. Strength and numbers and all that. Man, can't one shot these guys either. These guys are kind of tough. Alrighty. How good is their speech ability anyway? Their speech ability is not that great, so we should be safe. If we stay in physical attack area, we should be okay. Because we have the plus 20 to speech defense, that'll that'll keep us safe. And we have the talismans of uh, the Zumi talismans will give us all the health we need, I think. They have moved to hostile. They're copying our moves. So now Devious is stronger. That's awesome for us, actually. I'll take that all day long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just scoot you out of the way. Just scoot you you're just over in this direction. Smack. That's going to let Ivan walk in and do his primal roar. But, oh no, that would... No, that wouldn't jump us into the devious. We want to stay aggressive from here on out, so... That'll just weaken him up a little bit. Victor can walk around, smack one of them in the face. Crit, 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 crit. No! So close. Alright, next turn we got him. He can't handle this. Ivan's untouchable. Alright. Boom. You're gone. Victor with the flanking maneuver. Jean Piet with the oar to the face, I guess. That's an actual move, by the way. Tokens. Lots of tokens. You convince the Highlanders that the explorer's life might be a little too tough for them. They promise to help you by telling others of your prowess. A sensible decision of them. Most unexpected. Three campaign tokens. There's an empty node here. We're going to have to go that way, though. It's been raining for days now. The Scottish climate doesn't suit everyone. Aw. Man, there's nothing on this whole island. How about here? The crew finds an old yet strong-looking villager sitting out a lone house. He says to you, Get in the, 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 I can't read that. That's, yeah. Physical challenges allow me to share the phys specialized te techniques. Okay. Let's go for grit. And then we probably want... Who do we want? I kind of think Jean Piet. No, Ivan. Let's make Ivan, because Ivan's got very... He doesn't have any speech defense, and they, I think these, uh, the Abbas will use some speech abilities. Within a few hours of dedicated mentorship, Ivan learns specialized techniques to face challenges on this expedition. They're useless on other expeditions. Again, an empty node. What did, in the world do they do to the Highlands? This is awful. During the day, you found enough wool and herbs to produce an extra resolve. That is awesome. Thank you. That's so valuable. Let's go over here. Found some supplies. One, two, three. Celtic Shrine. There's nothing of real value but a small diary. Reading it may improve speech. Who's our main speaker? Um, well, honestly, Ivan does that primal roar. He might be valuable to have that. Ivan finally understands a lot more of the local customs. Increasing speech, however, this bonus will only last for this expedition. Ivan tries to explain the new findings, but the rest of the crew simply shrugs. Okay, so we have four left. One, two, three, four. Perfect. We're gonna get this is this has been such an empty island. I mean look at this. I ha I've barely gotten anything here. Oi lads, okay. Move it on. It's been not a good run this time. This may hurt us long term. And again, we got this little frozen thing here. It's weird. 
looks like it almost looks like there's a person standing there, but there's not. Uh, where, what are we doing? He's already depressed. Why is he depressed from the get-go? I don't understand. I can't walk there, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, so I can walk on top of where that invisible person is. This is weird. Um, we can go aggressive first. Yes. Yes. Let's go aggressive. That's going to give a plus to Devious. That will hit him with this Devious ability. Uh, Primal Roar. Do more damage. And then Jean Piet will hit them with his sadness. Plus 25% sadness thing. Hit this one up here. There you go. You're a fish. You smell like a dead fish. There we go. And turn. Their turn. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Is that all you got? Really? Wow. I'm feeling kind of tough all of a sudden. about what I need to do. Regular attack for Victor. Now we're over an aggressive. No, we're not over an aggressive. We lost the Devious. So now we're going to use our Devious ability to knock him out, push us over into aggressive. And I'm just going to have Ivan do a regular attack. Pinning strike. Problem of even missed. Wow. Regular attack. Really want to be back over and aggressive by the end of this, and we will be for sure. Let's do our inspiring attack to heal ourselves up for no apparent reason, other than showing off. Now we're hostile, which is where we want to be. And finished off, get the tokens. Basically, everything we've gotten off this whole Highlands run has been encounter tokens, it feels like. Almost exclusively. I've never had this bad of a run. <laughs> wow. That is... I, I gotta... I, I feel like I gotta have to go one more. This will be two, one, zero. So we're gonna take one debuff, but I we need more than this. The crew is walking t through a piece of nature that seems incredibly well kept. A sad-looking nobleman walks up to you. Oh, it seems you're enjoying my estate. You are invited to my manor. I have a problem, you see. Okay. When you arrive at his manor, which is a total mess, the nobleman explains, You see, I'm very lonely, but I finally got a date with a lady. However, my servants have all betrayed me and left. Now I'm in desperate need someone to help fix my issues. Please, I will pay you well. Ivan insists on helping this poor man. This crew member is supportive and helpful. So Ivan, he's like, yeah, we're going to help you. The man is ecstatic. Yes, yes, very good. The problems I have are, uh, my neighbors. They keep making noise with their bagpipes. I asked them to stop with a polite letter, but they won't listen to me. So he wants you to go talk to the neighbors. Okay. Soon enough, you find some Scotsmen who are readily uh, readying themselves to play some bagpipe music. I haven't politely explained the situation, but their response surprises you. What? Why do you think we're playing these horrible instruments? We want to annoy that bodied as much as possible. This won't be an easy argument. Show them what you got. Okay. Well, noisy neighbors. I understand noisy neighbors. I have lived many a year in apartments and condominiums with noisy neighbors. Especially college town noisy neighbors. 
And yeah, so this is gonna be really fun. My only regret is that I can't punch them more. Ivan, go here. We're gonna just plug up this hole right here. Uh, let's start out with uh, Devious. Seems appropriate. Hit the Devious right here. That will put us in Devious mode, which will give us more strength to friendly abilities. So we use our friendly here. And now it pops us over into friendly. And now we can use, uh, I guess a regular physical attack would be fine, but actually no, that would put us into a bad situation. So we're stuck using either devious or friendly. And it doesn't really matter because I'm not using primal roar against one enemy. So let's go with, hmm, let's go with devious so we can work our way back in that direction. Oh, fumble. They're so confused, they don't know what to do. And we're resistant, resistant to terrify. That's awesome. John Piet is awesome. Okay, um, well, guess we just kind of keep hitting you guys in the face, really. <laughs> Smelly fish. Now we're devious again. That's going to give an advantage to friendly abilities. Which means we're going to hit this guy with friendly. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to go up here and hit him with a friendly ability. Which is going to put us back into plus to defense. Okay. Now they're friendly, which means we're going to hit over into aggressive and totally pound them. Okay, um, hmm. Yep, punch him in the face. Actually, I need more help on this guy, so I'm going to punch this guy in the face first. Punch. I guess I could have made him confident first, but I can also use that as an attack, so. Oh, come on, I, uh, Victor, get over here. I can use Devious as an attack without getting in the wrong condition, so we're going to go ahead and do that. You smell like stinky cheese. And then we can do a regular attack over here to clear out that devious. There it is. Now they've gone aggressive, which means we're going devious. Okay, so we can go devious, who's our best speaker, oh look at all your, nope that's, that's not speech power, that's regular attack power, Ivan, Ivan has low speech power too, uh, I guess Victor, you can't get around there can you, I guess we're stuck a little bit until the other guy walks around. Alright. Please don't put me into... Okay, good. It didn't put me into Devious. I was like, no! Um, we're going to make... We're going to heal up Ivan and make him confident. He's already confident. We're going to make you confident, then. Everybody gets confident. Okay. Now Ivan can do nothing. And next turn, we're going to use nothing but aggressive so we get those tokens. Another aggressive. And Ivan, why don't you stand around and look pretty? Or ugly. Or whatever you want to stand around looking like. Doesn't really matter. We're going to win. Smelly fish. 
smack. That's it. Token, 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 token. Lots of tokens. Were the neighbors convinced not to play the bagpipes, you return to the nobleman. He is happy as well. Thank you so much. Now I can receive my date in peace. I do have a one tiny wee request before I pay you. You see, Aram, um, the manor is a mess, and it desperately needs some cleaning. I wrote the neighbors a polite letter asking them to clean my house, but they simply didn't respond. Could you help me? This gentleman is seriously requesting a group of adventurers to do some cleaning work. Uh, we have 80% for um, stalwarts. What's a stalwart exactly? I assume that's a fighter. But 80 plus 80% 80 from all stalwarts and crew. All right. Oh look, it has a plus percentage for all hygienic people and crew. I wonder what determines whether the, whether someone's stalwart or hygienic. That must be like a hidden stat in the game. All right, sure, accepted. The mansion is starting to look very neat. No one is mildly impressed. All right, it's starting to look decent here. I want to ask you for one last favor while the others continue cleaning. I want to impress my date with some beautiful flowers from my estate. I wrote the flowers a polite letter to present themselves, but they declined. Could one of you go and search for the prettiest flowers from my estate? The others can stay here. I don't want feet trampling my gardens. Um, ooh, that's a lose one resolve. I got... I'm committed. I want to see what the end of this um, this chain is. I really want to see the end of this chain. Victor, you're French. Go for it. You, you should know flowers, right? No, Victor, why? Victor came back with a pretty bouquet, but it wasn't good enough for Sir Fancy Pants. How can I present my date with uh, this bush? You're all a disgrace. I'm not paying you a single penny. All those errands for nothing? This hurts the crew morale. Oh, yeah, it does. Ivan cannot accept this and demands payment. The nobleman grows bored of you. Well, whatever. Take a look through the storage room. See if you can find something useful in there. I don't care. When you arrive at the storage room, you're in for a good surprise. There is a treasure in there, but he doesn't care for it. You quickly take it and leave. Unicorn tapestry, sterling head, or money musk reliquary. Sterling head. That was the second best one, apparently. Six collect tokens. I'll take it. Sure. At least it gives us something. As the crew leaves the estate, you encounter the nobleman's date on her way to the mansion. Jean Piet takes a moment with the lady and makes it perfectly clear, don't date that man. He's a total sponger. The lady runs away in terror. Serves him right. Time to continue exploring. Alright. Uh, we're going to take one debuff on the way to the abbess. Here we go. Crew finds nothing of interest. Crew finds nothing of interest and takes supply damage. Loses armor. And now... Abbas time. This is it. The abbey containing the mysterious treasure is waiting to be explored. Sadly, you'll have to deal with the paranoid Abbas. If you enter the abbey, find the treasure. The expedition will be completed. Okay. Uh, the abbey's still well fortified. You're probably not the first one. Yes, I realize that Victor needs to be leveled. Jean Piet. I can see it, people. I'm too late. Uh, Jean Piet even seems to identify some cloth that looks like it belongs to Rivalo. Ivan decides to go for it and knocks on the massive door of the abbey. You hear the voice of the abbess from the other side. Go away, I know what you're after. Well, since she ain't opening up, we can burst in, we can sneak in, and we can talk our way in. We don't have talkers, and we don't have sneakers. So, I'm going to check the percentages, but I think we're going to have to take the burst in. or some kind of debuff you take when you burst in. Uh, negative one resolve and chance to be wounded. Ow. Or talk our way in. Negative one resolve. No, that's just awful. Burst in. Who does this lady think she is standing between you and the treasure? Uh, it's time to burst in the door. Who leads the charge? We're not missing this. I'm not losing a resolve for that. Bam! Ivan charges relentlessly and the door is burst open. You face to face with the terrified abbess. Oh, no, you're conscienceless thieves after all. May God stand by my side. There is no way around this. Uh, bursting in aggressively decreases your, the chance that your friendly actions will have any effect by 50%. That's the big debuff that I was worried about. This is going to be a tough one. But, we got to do Oh, wow, there's a lot of those guys. We got to do it, I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by myself. Um, yeah. 
They are currently devious. Hmm. Gonna move Victor back. Use his peace treaty. Let's try to mend some fences, people. Wow. Almost no damage. I missed three of those. It's okay. I, I, the reason why I did that was because I wanted to reduce their attack if possible. At least we'd take some less damage there. Um, ooh, she starts terrified. Plus 50% speech defense to her speech. Her condemnation is extra strong when you're aggressive, so watch out. So we can't be aggressive. We have to switch out of this now. Her speech defense will increase if she's praying. She's weak to excited. Strong against enraged. Okay, primal roar. That'll get rid of three of them. The three that didn't get debuffed. Perfect. That puts us in devious, which will give us friendly ability strength increase, which we can't really use friendly abilities because for reasons, I guess. Um, let's take out this uh, ad on the side here. I'm going to take her out with aggressive. Okay, we're still in devious though, so we're good. In turn. Forty-one damage. Ow. Ads aren't that big of a deal, it looks like. Though they they pass away quick, so we could probably take them out. Yeah, we should take out those ads, because they're gonna add up that damage they're doing. Um I need to definitely do devious, I feel like, or friendly. Alright, let's start with a confident friendly. Oh, it can't get him get her all the way. I don't want to go aggressive. I don't want to not knock out these these um, ladies. I don't know what else to say. Uh, how about this? Let's move these two over here. We're gonna go aggressive gonna be a bad idea. Just you watch. Punch him in the face. Now punch him in the face again. And now we need to get back over into, looks like Devious is our quickest chance. She's strong against... Sadden gives negative 25% speech. We gotta hit her with that even if it means uh, she only takes a little bit of damage from being resistant to it. I really want to decrease her um, ability to do speech damage. Okay. So now she's only doing 19 on her speech ability, but we're still in aggressive, which means she's going to hit really hard. Oh, wow. I guess we debuffed her enough. Alright, now we surround her. And we're going to have Jean-Piet do his heal. Because I need some health, really. Is that the, that, that's the main reason. <laughs> heal up the troops a little bit. Yeah, we're just going for it. Pin her down. Victor, what can you do here, buddy? Another attack. If we can survive this round without losing resolve, we got her. Going completely against the grain on the um, on the attitude, though. Okay, she prayed. Unit will attack Ivan for two turns. Can be overwritten by other abilities. Prayer. Each time the Abbas gets hit in a turn after praying, she gets 15 speech for one turn. So she's praying, but uh, she doesn't have enough health. So, whack. Yeah. You take the treasure by force. Got go collect token, got the study token. Three encounter tokens, nice. This, this was not a good run. 
this was I mean, we've got tons of collect but I really was expecting more than what we got the abbess can't believe she's finally overrun her defenses of the abbey falls she mumbles in disbelief before she hits the ground burst into a religious building knock everyone out you can check that off your bucket list now the treasure is yours to grab hooray um, so it looks like the best one on the list is Lewis Chessman. I'm assuming that the lowest percentage chance is the best one to get. Columbia, Columbus Staff. Plus two campaign. Ugh, that's, that's an awful treasure. This is one I, I, I want a mulligan. I want a do-over for this one. However, for Ivan, the victory starts to feel tainted. Is this really how a believer like Ivan should uh, do things? Guilt takes over Ivan and there's nothing the crew can do about it. Overcome with guilt. Negative 10 speech defense. Permanently, I think. With the treasure in hand, the crew leaves the Abbey. This expedition is a great success, and you can't wait to prepare for your next endeavor back to London. Boink! Two treasures that are neither of which are all that great, but alright. At least we get the item shop that we were looking for. That's going to be helpful to us. And we got reading lots of gold, which is good. Definitely need as much as that. We only get 27 research. That is horrible. We're going to have to um, support that with insight tokens. Good day, mate. We here down under... I'm not going to do an Australian accent. We here down under have heard about your adventures of the Scottish Isles. Anyone who takes a peek at Scottish Scotland's secrets is brave in our books. Why don't you fly over in your fancy ship and take a look at our adventure shops, eh? See ya, Bell Summers, Kangaroo Farmer. Okay, let's level these guys up. Actually, let's cut the episode here. In the next episode, we'll be leveling the guys up, doing the world map stuff, and seeing, checking out the items in the um, shop in Australia and all that kind of stuff. Hope you'll join me for that one. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, keep it clean.